Yo, yo, uh, today's video uh, for the Hacker F Portapack uh, H2 uh, comes from a guy that reached out regarding the APRS uh, functions. Um, this, isn't, this is not going to be an in-depth depth review on the APRS features yet, but this will show you how to get started on those areas and a few settings that you may need to tweak to get those things going. So let's dive into it. All right, so we're going to start with the uh, APRS and make sure that there are signals coming in, first of all. Um, so got here Yesu FT3D. Uh, I'm going to go to my APRS. I already have preloaded. There we go. All right. So let's just wait a few and see what kicks in. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, APRS was pretty busy those days. So we'll see where we're at now. Oh, there we go. There's, there's one. All right. So that is TMD710 uh, at 3.1 miles away. Um, looks like a vehicle going at 29 miles an hour, possibly. So. All right, so we know that we are getting some APRS stuff already. And if it doesn't show anything up on the menu, then that's because I have it set to where it's not going to show repeats. So let's see if we can see this. All righty. Let's go receive. I'm going to go to APRS. And it's kind of sunny outside. All right. And move the Yesu out of the way for now. I'm gonna adjust my antenna gain here. Okay, so a few things to check out off the bat if you're not getting APRS coming through is check your VGA and LNA. Um, so the 40 and 40 up here, make, make sure that those are at 40 or at least 36 and, six and up. Um, I did drop these down the other day and put them down to eight to 16 and then kind of went up from there to see where I would start getting signal at. And it was not until around 32 or so is when I started getting full signal. Um, you can you could try your gain right here, this the zero, um, see if that's, that's an issue. Um, you can put it at one if you have to, see what goes from there. Um, if you're not getting anything, put it back at zero. Um, so it looks like all the APRS that you're hearing from the Yesu is still repeats because I have not gotten anything yet. Or, or they may not be coming in fully yet. Okay, there was one, but that's a repeat. So you can see the DEAE7AP-2, that's a repeat, um, which is why I didn't fully ping it out um, to the maps and all that fun stuff. So let's just keep waiting and see what happens. One thing to also check is that your region is set to where you're at. I'm in North America, so NA. Um, if you're in Europe, you would go to EUR, Australia, New Zealand, and so on. So. It doesn't seem like these are coming through fully yet, which is why I have not got anything yet on the Yesu. Well, there's decimated repeat, it looks like. Okay, so we just got one full one on the Yesu, but we did not get one on the Porter Pack. So, something else we can try is we're going to swap antennas. So, this is the collapsible antenna that came with the Porter Pack, and we're going to pop on the, uh, turn my radio off here. We're going to pop on the, uh, this is the signal stuff elastic antenna because you may need to have an antenna that's tuned to UHF VHF I mean I can't see why I mean I was getting good signal the other day with the porta pack using the stock antenna the, the telescopic um, so I don't understand why we're not getting anything right now one thing I check too is that make sure that you're always in your region uh, you can bump this knob super easily and it'll throw off your settings pretty pretty fast so All right, so we're gonna take this on the road to see if we can get something better. 
Um, I don't know if the signal strength behind my house was not good enough or not, but I got the Yesu out of frame on the uh, left-hand side of my steering wheel and then the quarter pack in frame. Um, hopefully that's focused for you guys. I know there's some glare. That's one thing that I, I hope on the next edition of the Porter Pack that they change the screen um, resolution and the screen type. I'm, I'm willing to pay more for a better screen. Um, I get that this is the basic LCD type screen, um, but I want to pay more for like an OLED or some like a, you know, just even like an iPhone to Android type clarity screen for sure. Um, that's just my preference, but yeah. We'll see if we get anything. Um, I went ahead and put the telescopic t antenna back on the Porter Pack. And then on my Yaesu, I have it plugged into my truck's antenna, which is the Signal Stuff stick, which is their 19 inch antenna, I believe. Um, so I just got a ping on the Yaesu uh, from, let's see here, that says MOE TRK going 55 miles an hour. So that's definitely a, a vehicle, obviously. Um, so. There is plenty of APRS happening. I don't know why we're not seeing it yet still on the um, Porter Pack. So well, let's adjust some, some more settings. I wanna turn off the gain again. So let's go back to zero. And then let's drop up, or let's go up on the VGA and LNA. Um, go to 4040. When I get to the stop sign, if I don't have anything, then I'll, uh, I'm gonna swap out antennas and put the signal stuff stick back on the porter pack. All right, so that's nothing still, nothing still. And we're definitely getting APRS on the Yesu. No, I knocked it to Europe, my bad. See, see what I'm saying? You gotta be careful on that dial because it's so sensitive. Go back the stream. We are still in North America. Let's drop this one down to 36, maybe. The LNA. There we go. Hey, there we go. And you probably can't see that because I'm driving to the south right now. And there's a freaking glare. I'm sorry, guys. But hey, uh, so my settings uh, I'm currently at is North America, obviously. My antenna gain is zero. My VGA is 40 and my LNA is at 36 and I just got three pings like that. Um, so we're gonna let this go. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll over here to list now. And yeah, we got three hits. Um, and again, I'm really sorry guys, you probably can't see that because of the glare. Um, all right, so I just went ahead and pulled the phone off the, uh, the little dock that I have here in my truck. Um, so. It'll change to vertical, obviously, because I'm holding it vertically. Um, but you can see there that we've got, what is that, five pings now? Um, and that's just within like a minute of me shutting off the phone last. So uh, definitely check your VGA LNA settings on your device. I'm still on the, on the signal stick antenna. Um, so we are getting good hits. Uh, when I stop again, I'm gonna swap antennas back to telescopic to see, to see if we're getting those same hits again. Um, for you guys that may not have a proper UHF, VHF antenna. All right, so we're still driving. Uh, I put back on the telescopic antenna um, and I just got a hit, but I did have to extend my antenna all the way, um, which you can kind of see in my windshield over here. So, um, but that chill right there that just came in at 1236 um, which is my local time here so the stock antenna the telescopic is definitely capable of receiving APRS but again you may need to adjust your settings as such um, because that last note that you just heard coming from the Yesu uh, did not receive on the uh, Porter Pack um, so antenna strength and length and frequency is definitely gonna matter in this situation for APRS I will say real quick though that on your hits, if you go into your hits and you hit your center button, it's gonna pull up that info for that APRS or the map. So that's pretty cool. Um, I wish that you can zoom out of the map. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna go to that feature. You know, that zero right there, I wish that you could adjust the altitude of what you're viewing at, but you can't yet. So um, 
Yeah, but I hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Appreciate it. Bye.